Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy hump day, happy Wednesday, happy new release day. Um, 2022, Topps Museum Collection Baseball, brand new release, just dropped today. Here's Pick Your Team 1 from a fresh case. So it's a half case from a fresh case, second half in the store, So uh, and no filler yet. So let's keep working on that. We'll probably start working on a filler for Pick Your Team 2, probably after this break. But on Wednesday the 7th, big thanks to this group right here for making it happen. There's Oliver, Last Spot Mojo star next to his name. 70% of the time, Last Spot Mojo hits 100% of the time. Now, R&B stands for random number block. We pulled those teams out and turned it into a serial number break. We did, this, uh, we did the randomizer in a separate video. So you get a block of numbers. Those represent a block of numbers. Only applies to these teams right here. Now, there are going to be some non-numbered base cards and... On a rare occasion, maybe a non-numbered auto or relic. I think it's pretty, I don't think that's too common. But anyway, for that group right there, we're gonna take that, collect those non-numbered cards into one lot and randomize it to one person in the break. That's how we've traditionally done it over the years. And we'll keep that tradition going. All right, so with all, all those T's and C's, terms and conditions, let's pop this baby open. Let's see what we got. now. If you don't want to share uh, your hits, you're like, eh, I don't want to share my hits. You can get personal boxes of these. They're available on um, on Instagram Live. That's where we do our personal breaks, at Jaspies Breaks on Instagram. At Jaspies Breaks on Instagram, and a different website as well. But Jason Jaspie, who you see a couple nights a week here on YouTube, is hosting that side. And I'm sure he'd be happy to do uh, a museum collection box or two for you. So check it out, at Jaspies Breaks Instagram. All right, now we've got to select which six boxes we're going to do. All right, we'll go one, two, three for this half right here, and then four, five, six for that half right over there. And it's six. So we'll do the right side, and then we'll save this for break two, which hopefully will be coming up soon. Again, if you want to avoid doing a filler, I would encourage everyone to, to get your teams straight up. In fact, I'll leave these right here. Oh, is there a, is there a checklist for this? There has to be, right? Let's go to groupbreakchecklist.com. There you go. And so there's the checklist in the chat if you want to do your own research and then um, and see, uh, see what you can get for the teams that are remaining in the second side. All right, there you go. We got Vlad Jr. on the box. Love the museum collection. There's mini boxes here, four hits per master box. Each mini box guarantees one of the cards below, an on-card autograph, autograph relic, quad relic, or just single relic. So two autos, two relics on average. Got the Dodgers on in the background. They're leading the Giants 7-3. Max Muncy's power output continuing. I think Justin Turner had a home run today too. Looks like an Alex Vesia looking to finish off the game. One out in the top of the ninth. So there's usually just a base card on the bottom. That's ah, Bobby Wood Jr. as well. That's pretty nice. Usually the hit is right on the bottom there. Right, yeah, Carl. Unlike uh, unlike Sterling, no like theme on these. It's just a, just a straight up baseball product. All right, my friends, good luck. So we'll use one of the base cards to, to hide the hit. Shane Bieber, Anthony Rendon, Reese Hoskins. 
And sometimes some products do this. That's uh, that's not a chip on the car. It looks like it, but it's that, that sort of smoky sort of design that they're kind of using. Sometimes if it gets close to the edge, it'll look, uh, it'll look a little different. All right. Behind Giancarlo Stan is Jose Barrios, 24 out of 35. And that's for the Bluebirds. Blue Jays are a uh, number block team. So if you're not familiar with the random number block scenario, we go by that digit right there. So 24. So we'll go to a Toronto 4. And that's going to be for... It's going to be for Joe Christian. we got Miguel Cabrera to 99. That'll be for uh, 9 out of 99. That'll be for Detroit 9. George Kirby, Brandon Marsh. So these are the non-numbered cards if they're part of the number block group. There's Jaron Duran Duran and a quad relic, Wilson Contreras. 69 out of 99. Rex with the Cubs. Got the Cubbies, his Cubs, straight up. All right, and there's a replica sketch card. I think one per box as well, generally. C.J. Abrams goes to the Padres. That'll be for San Diego 5. Oh, no, that's an actual sketch card. Whoa! From, a, from that distance? Wow! That's awesome. Tank Aaron, obviously. Hammer and Hank. That's the artist autograph, and that's a one of one. That's a nice start. So that goes to Charles, who got the Braves straight up. That is awesome. Congrats, Charles, and all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. That's a beaut. And behind him is Zach Lisak, 30 out of 50. Didn't he get injured, like, punching a wall or something like that? All right, that'll go to Cleveland, and that goes to Cleveland Zero. And that's going to be for Andy. Nice Bobby Witt Jr. rookie card for the Royals. That's gonna be that's a non-numbered card, so that, someone's gonna get that in the lot. There's Hank Aaron again. And see, that's the this is the reproduction. That's what I was expecting. I wasn't expecting a sketch card to pop in the very first box. That's wild. All right, and we got Larry Walker. Dual relic and autograph for Oliver. Last spot mojo. That's what they say 70% of the time. Last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. Piece of his lumber. We've got a, some Rockies, the Rockies purple pinstripe there. 39 out of 100. Great start. Next box. Uh, I like the looks of this too, Eddie. Yeah, Zach Please, I punched the ground, right? Broke his hand, I think he's out for, or wrist or something. He's out for a little bit. And Jock Peterson flies out to end the game. Dodgers win, 7-3. Forgot that this they, they started so early. The rare Wednesday day game? The schedule's a little goofy this year because they, they had to compact so many games. I think the Giants have a weird travel schedule. I think they're they're leaving right after this game to a Milwaukee, I think, to play a doubleheader tomorrow. Something like that.
All right, good luck everybody. Next box. Got some uh, US Open tennis now on the background. Um, we got uh, Pagula, Jen Jess Jessica Pagula, Jennifer Pagula. She's the uh, she's the daughter of the um, Jessica Pagula. She's the daughter of the Buffalo Bills owners. She's playing right now. Bo Bichette swinging a hot bat lately. That goes to Blue Jays five. Shave off the base cards right off the top here. Bobby Witt Jr. rookie card here. All right, see, so usually it's that reproduction card right there. Here's Jackie Robinson. Behind him is Jeff McNeil. Five out of ten. Nice three-color patch for, for Kenneth. Got the Mets straight up. All right, and we got Nolan Arenado, 23 out of 99. Quad relic. He's having a great season. If it wasn't for his teammate, Paul Goldschmidt, Nolan Arenado might be your leading MVP candidate in the NL. This goes to Han and the Cardinals. The reproduction, George Brett, reveals a Aramis Ramirez, 176 out of 299. And behind Joey Votto is a Yasmani Grandal. Piece of his lumber, piece of his jersey, his autograph, going to John and the White Sox. Two oh six out of three, three fifty seven. It's kind of a random number. Right. Next box. Cardinals play today, or, or do we have a Albert Pujols homer watch here? I think they they have not played. Washington is in St. Louis. They'll be starting in about 15 minutes from now, I think. It's almost 4:30 on the West Coast, and they're playing at 4:45 my time. Do they have lineups out? Who holds not in the lineup? Come on. Come on, Cardinals. Just gotta just put them in there every day, regardless of matchup. Greg's saying, as much as I like Albert, you don't think he gets to 700. I think he's, what, five away? That'll be tomorrow's poll question. Tonight, tonight's poll question, Greg, how far do you think Aaron Judge goes? Tonight's poll question, how many home runs does Aaron Judge hit by the end of the regular season? He's at 55 now, hit one in game one of the doubleheader. 55 to 64, 65 to 69, or 70 plus? All right, 
right, Tony Gwynn, 18 out of 99. Willie Mays, 28 out of 150. And your hits behind Javier Baez is Lucas Giolito, 8 out of 25. for John and the White Sox. Smooth out the wrinkles in the penny sleeve there. There we go. Nice. Behind the, uh, is that, yeah, Boggs Rays edition. Reproduction. Reveals a Derek Lee. I feel like we were just talking about him just a night or two ago. Very solid player here. That goes to Rex and the Cubs. 86 out of 200. And a dual relic. Ronald Acuna Jr. and Juan Soto. 28 out of 50. Uh, that's Charles has the Braves. And Kenneth has the Nationals. That'll be a randomizer at the end. And behind Hunter Green, who's a uh, local product, Sherman Oaks, reveals a Chris Taylor, CT3, 81 out of 99. Quad relic for the Dodgers. Dodgers are a number block team. So that is 81 out of 99. So that'll go to Dodgers 1. That'll be for Kenneth. All right, halfway through this half case break. About another 15, 20 minutes to go. Al, uh, Tyler has an Albert Pujols fathead that you found in storage. Now you haven't used it. I wonder what that goes for now. Is there a room? You think there's an uptick on, uh, on, on Pujols memorabilia that people want? Greg saying uh, Aaron Judge finishes between 55, 64 home runs. Yeah, I feel like 60 is definitely going to happen. 64, 65, that, gets, that starts to get tough. And Greg doesn't want to see a, a Yankee beat Bonds' record anyway. Ooh, a frame. Are the frames one per case? Traditionally, they've been one per case. Mariano Rivera to 150. That's for Jonathan G and the Yankees. Behind Frank Robinson is a dual relic and autograph, Keston Hero. I feel like he's been having a, a nice season this year. 107 out of 399. Brew Crew. Uh, we're, uh, it's for John with the Brewers, John R. Behind the uh, reproduction is Jason Hayward. Six out of 75, quad relic for the Cubs. That's for Rex and his Cubs. And the next hit is Robin Yount, 43 out of 50. Bit of the Brewers pinstripe in there for John R. And 
And behind Florida Marlins edition of Pudge, the frame is two out of five silver ink auto, but a black frame? That looks really sharp. Mike Schmidt, Schmitty. That's for Josh, who got the Phillies straight up. Nice, Josh. Out of fives and under, get the train whistle. Josh, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. That's really sharp. This museum's looking real nice, ladies and gentlemen. Pick your team two in the store right now. This has the makings of a, uh, of a hot case. Greg's asking Cooper Cup or Justin Jefferson. I say Cooper Cup. I mean, both not bad options, but forced to choose. Cooper Cup. Babe to 99. And a Wander Franco rookie card for the Rays. And we'll use this card as the representation, because the Rays are a number block team. This is not numbered. So that'll represent the non numbered cards of that group. I'll do that randomizer at the end. All right, behind Daryl Strawberry is Mickey Moniak. 8 out of 25. Nice colors in that small window there for Josh and the Phillies. Tyler says Justin Jefferson. Greg's saying I'm having a tough decision. I'm thinking maybe Eckler too because running backs are so bad this year. Yeah, maybe locking up that running back early on too. You can always find wide receivers towards the end unless you want to chase the top ones. There's Aramis Ramirez, 10 out of 50 for Rex and the Cubs. Joe Christian also says uh, Justin Jefferson. There's Yaz, and there's a quad relic, all twins. Miguel Sano, Carlos Correa, Jorge Polanco, and Gio Urshela. That is 59 out of 75. Keishan picking up the twins straight up. And behind Harmon Killebrew is another Derek Lee for Rex and the Cubbies. This one is 002 out of 200. Final box, good luck. Second box in the store right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Let's do the second half. If this first half is of any indication, I think the second half is gonna be pretty strong. Good luck. Uh, no, not yet, Logan. There, I think a, a Juan Franco base card, rookie card, we saw, which is right there. But in terms of a proper hit, no.
I mean, I wonder, some of the nicer hits out of here have been some of the old school guys, right? So does that mean, two base cards on the bottom here. Does that mean maybe some, some rookies on the second half? Javier Baez, 17 out of 150. And Aaron Judge. Is that how many home runs he's going to hit? 66 out of 99? I mean, I, f I feel like Museum Collection is making a statement there. All right. We got a Ted Simmons, 273 out of 299 archival autographs for St. Louis. That's going to be for Han and the Cardinals. We have a Pete Alonzo relic, 37 out of 50. Kenneth with the Mets. Behind Tatis Jr. is a quad relic, Alec Bohm. 13 out of 25. Some nice colors there for Josh and the uh, Phillies. And your final hit behind Brandon Marsh is going to be Max Kepler. Dual relic and autograph for the Minnesota Twins. It's Keishan with the Twinkies, Twin Cities, Min Twins, Win Twins, 207 out of 399. Great first half, ladies and gentlemen. I'm loving this stuff. Museum Collection, one of the nicer releases of the year. Second half in the store right now. Now let's do some randomizing. Let's go back to random.org, or let's go to random.org for the first time. Now first is, uh, let's do the, let's go back to the list actually. We'll do the randomizer for the non-numbered base cards, just for those teams only. So name on top, we'll get those non-numbered cards, including the Bobby Wood Jr. rookie cards and the uh, Wander Franco rookie cards. And uh, the dual relic is Braves and Nationals. So let's roll it, randomize it. Two and a two for the hard way. Name on top after four. One. Two, three, and four. So Michael, you'll get all those non-numbered cards after four times. Congrats. Two and a two, four times for the dual relic. One, two, three, and four. After four times, goes to the Nationals. It's Kenneth with the Nats. You'll get this dual relic right here. There you go, gang. Yeah, not a bad first half at all. So check out the second half, jaspiescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next museum collection break. Bye-bye.